You can do it in a bed. You can do it on the sofa. You can do it in the bathtub. And if you're really skilled, you can do it standing up. Now, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about sleeping. Glorious, glorious snoozing. It's the best part of the day for many and a cause for frustration for others. But don't worry, we're here to deliver you the delicious ambrosia that is a good night's sleep, all through the power of science. But don't nod off just yet, we've got some myth busting to do first. Myth 1. Counting sheep helps you sleep. We've probably all tried it during sleepless nights, but no matter how many dollies you clone in your imagination, you're not setting off to sleepy town anytime soon. This stubborn tradition was put to the test by the Oxford University, who challenged insomniacs to either count sheep, imagine a relaxing scene, or do nothing at all. They discovered that the participants imagining a relaxing scene fell asleep on average 20 minutes earlier than those using the other two methods. Myth 2. Yawning helps you wake up. While also being a little bit rude to do during conversation, a job interview, saying your vows, or during a funeral, yawning is often associated with tiredness and lack of sleep. It was fabled that yawns help provide more energy to the brain to wake you up, but sadly this isn't true. New evidence actually suggests that we yawn to cool our brains down, using a deep intake of breath to keep the brain running at an optimal temperature. But try telling that to your friend while she's crying about that guy she thought that was the one. <laughs> Sorry, Stacy. Myth 3. Teenagers are lazy. If you're a teenager, I'm guessing you probably haven't made it this far into the video. You've probably switched over to that video of Justin Bieber falling off st Wait, he fell off stage? I gotta watch this. <laughs> if you have made it this far, Here's a handy fact to back you up next time you're negotiating with your mom for a longer lion. Your sleep habits start to change just before puberty and between the ages of 10 and 25, you need about 9 hours of sleep every night. Teens also experience a shift in their circadian rhythm or sleep phase delay, pushing back their natural bedtime by about 2 hours and encouraging them to sleep in. So there you go, science is on your side. Just don't be rude to your mom about it. Remember, when you put down one mother, you're putting down mothers all over the world. You should never wake a sleepwalker. Now, I've been known to sleepwalk myself from time to time, but apart from raiding the fridge or harassing people with talk of bin bags and matchboxes, I'm not a huge danger. It's thought, however, that waking a sleepwalker is dangerous and could even kill them, when in fact, it's actually more dangerous for them to keep walking. There have even been cases of people committing heinous crimes while sleepwalking. A very famous example is Ken Parks, a man who in 1987 drove to the house of his parents-in-law and killed his mother-in-law and attempted to kill her husband. On the basis of his sleep disorder, he was actually acquitted of the murders and now takes medication. Cheese gives you nightmares. In my eyes, cheese is the stuff of dreams, not of nightmares. But the idea of cheese before bed giving you nightmares has got many people convinced. However, the British Cheese Board, which is also the best name for an official body ever, actually has evidence to prove the opposite. They conducted an experiment where they fed 200 volunteers 20 grams of cheese for a week and asked them to record their dreams. While there were no nightmares, 75% of men and 85% of women reported vivid dreams after eating Stilton. No data on whether they experienced hallucinations, though. So there you have it, 5 sleeping myths officially debunked. If you haven't drifted off already, why not share one of your bedtime stories in the comments below. And before you shut off your phone to make your way to Bedfordshire, don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, nighty night.